Okay, the last lecture uh, for week seven, let's talk a little bit about circles. Uh, again, I think by and large you guys will find this uh, to be plug and chug math, meaning I'm going to give you a formula, all right, that you need to become very comfortable with. All right, so what, what the heck is a circle? All right, so a circle is a set of all points that lie a fixed distance or a radius from a given point or a center. All right, so a typical clock, like with the, with the long hand being the radius. Okay, so this is our circle over here in our picture on the right. All right, in center radius form, right, a circle with a center HK and radius R has this equation right here. Okay, there's a couple of things that you need to make sure you pay attention to. You're going to need to know this formula. You're going to need to know how to use this formula. Okay, note that in the formula, these are minuses. Okay, so if you see a plus, that means H or K is negative. And we're going to see that a little bit. Also, make sure you understand that everything has a square on it. So in the formula, the radius is squared. All right, so let's work through an example. Find the center radius form of a circle with a center at negative 3, 4 and a radius of 6. All right, so I know my HK, my H is negative 3, my K is 4, and my R is 6. Here is our center radius form of the circle. I'm going to plug in my H of negative 3 plugging in my, my k of 4 and my r of 6. All right, is this the final answer? No, guys, come on, we can simplify this a little bit. We can clean it up. All right, since I have x minus negative 3, I can change that to x plus 3, all squared. Not much I can do with my y. I have y minus 4 squared. And we can all do 6 squared, which is 36. And that is our final answer. All right, so here's our final answer simplified uh, because I know somebody's going to ask me, do I have to square all this out? Well, here you have it in the lecture video, so I'm going to know the people that actually watch this or not. No, we don't have to square it out. That is our final answer in center radius form. All right, again, our center is negative 3, 4. Our radius is 6. All right, let's go about trying to graph the circle, all right, where we just have our center radius form here. So we have x plus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 36. Again, the center is negative 3, 4. Okay, so we plot our center. All right, and what you're going to do in my math lab is you have a circle tool. You plot the center, negative 3, 4, and then you're going to count either north, south, east or west six units to get your radius. You do not want to try to drag vertic uh, diagonally. All right, You don't know. We only can count by units. That's our only way of getting six. And so once I plot my center, negative 3, 4, I'm going to drag, and you'll start seeing your circle grow in my math lab. I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This way, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This way, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This way, or here, as I've drawn for you, I can count 6 going west, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have four ways to draw my radius of 6, and then you'll plot this point, and you'll have your circle. All right, it's really quite easy. It's just getting you to work with center radius form a little bit. Okay, again, note the opposite sign from the formula to the center. All right, again, opposite sign. All right, find the center radius form of a circle with a center at the origin, 0, 0, and a radius of 3. All right, so I know my H is 0, my K is 0, my R is 3. All right, do we want to type this in? Well, again, no, we can clean it up a little bit. What's X minus 0, guys? That's just X, right? 
And what's y minus 0? That's just y. So I have x squared plus y squared. And then I actually compute 3 squared as 9. All right, so I have my x squared plus y squared equals 9 is my center radius form of the circle or the equation of the circle. All right, now let's graph it. I plot the center 0, 0 at the origin, and I count three units, 1, 2, 3. Here I counted east. I can count going north, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, I can do the same for south or west, but the point is you have four choices of getting the radius accurately in my math lab. All right, so that's either north, south, east, or west, and you plot the point once you get three units from the origin.